if you couldn't tell, especially by the hoodie I'm wearing, I'm really happy with this buff. Charlemagne is like probably the most built unit I have on JP right now. I think Bunyan is the only contention. Bunyan's in before Charlemagne is MP5, but uh, MP3. But Charlemagne has like everything maxed out. Level 100, max mode, uh, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10. Uh, only one he doesn't have unlocked is Berserker. That's going to happen later. I really like this character. I like him more than Okitan. But for my tier list, I had to rate Okitan higher because of Izu. Uh, like, it's, it, Okitan just performing was is a better option because like damage like more consistent damage but with this buff that is no longer a factor it cannot be a factor because based on your setup based on how you crit with charlemagne he might have more consistent damage than okitan we're like two waves and then also has like good crits to follow up with uh all right so let's get started Charlemagne, first buff, 12 point, basically 12k flat attack. Like this 15, 15 is insignificant when you're talking about 1,000. Like this is 12k. Uh, it is not the highest. I, Saber Boogie has a lot more attack, but this is good, especially with how many hits of overkill his MP has. If his base attack was a significantly lower, the number of hits he has on his MP wouldn't matter. He wouldn't be getting overkill nearly as much. He would take more hits to get to overkill, thus his refund would be scuffed. And at point four eight, he kind of needs as much overkill as you can let him get. This number means that each hit, even especially for quick, is a lot lower individually. He needs a lot of he needs at least three enemies well no i don't want to say he needs at least three he needs at least three if you want uh to treat him like an arts unit if you have two he actually does he will start functioning like a normal quick unit that's how cracked this guy's mp gain is like i'm not joking double scotty is enough to put him into like 70s low 80s thus he is able to loop 25 on one enemy so he theoretically only needs two enemies and then you can just use a scotty 50 to get him back to his mp which is not the case for quick units he, charlemagne truly functions more like an arts unit that just drops a shitload of stars if he had a higher base mp gain he'd be looping as an actual art servant and like looping 100 percent all you need is to shove mp gain down this guy's throat and he's looping 100 percent like you use fragments of 2004 and he's looping 120 percent as a quick unit it makes starting him from zero and doing like normal farming like really nice like can't cap like he can loop 100 percent one wave with 2004 like boom you can charge whoever you want in the back line at that point and for me how i almost have atlas like maxed out having like such strong refund like on his own awesome uh so next i need to talk about like uh like actual sy synergy because with this current buff there actually is a detriment to using ruler scotty unless you know for a fact charlemagne is able to hit 50 percent off two enemies what i mean is he needs to crit we'll get, like we'll get into it uh when i actually talk about the skill buff but he needs to crit to be able to get the extra damage the issue with ruler scotty is that now instead of less than half the cards being roided out for crit damage you have more than half of them Buster, quick, quick. If you want to ramp up the damage, you're pretty much, you pretty much have to kill at least one enemy. That will greatly impact the refund. Now, like I said, he's able to loop off two enemies. So if you're able to do Buster Arts and then your MP, like, boom, you get more damage. 
Um, yeah, his base number here, 24K. Okitan, 27K. He goes up 10% each stack. Literally, one stack and you pass up Okitan's damage. One stack and you're pretty much passing up the advantage Okitan has. Which is just higher base damage and more refund because of the quick buff. But I believe, I'm pretty sure Charlemagne still loops more than uh, Okitan. At least mine, mine does. I'm like super biased on this one because I have MP3 Charlemagne. So like his refund is so cracked. Uh, if I'm misleading people, I'm sorry. I like my, unfortunately, like, or fortunately, my experience is only with MP3. Like there was no one, two, three. Like I got him MP3 like off the rip. So if I'm saying stuff about refund that isn't true, I'm sorry. It's just like my experience with using this character for two years has been like consistent above 70 loops. All right, so this skill is very much, uh, people don't like it because of like how easy it is to screw up. Like this is probably the, like, I believe on the tier list for sabers, I probably, I'm pretty sure I said I like Charlemagne more, but this skill buff pisses people the fuck off because if Charlemagne has an inbull at all, it doesn't even mean he targets himself. He fucks himself over. He will MP seal himself and yeah, he'll just NPC himself and he doesn't get uh, the M he doesn't get the MP gen and he doesn't get uh, the the damage buff when he gets hit. That's if he's run with while he has an invul. So even an invul CE will fuck him over. Is, and isn't that one of the CEs for this event? Like, isn't one of them invul pierce with like a quick buff? Oh, fuck. People are not going to be happy. People are going to say, what the fuck? Man. But yeah, <clears throat> he grants an ally in both for two attacks, two returns. He can do this on himself if you need him to. But just know he's like, you're literally shooting Charlemagne in the foot. He's not able to do like reach his max potential if you shoot him in the pit foot at the very start. The buff makes it so every time he crits, he gets his damage buff for his MP. And the damage buff is super effective. It is not a power mod. It's only going to work on the MP. So just keep that in mind. His face card damage is not going to ramp up. It is only the MP. But like I said, this is 10% MP damage per crit. He also gets MP damage when taking hits. Now, he does not have a taunt, which I'm both happy and not happy he does because, like, he doesn't, like, his only hard defense is against Divinity. For a skill like this, he wants to be taking more hits. Um, and that's the whole thing about this buff. It makes it so Charlemagne is not needed to take a shitload of hits uh, in order to get his MP stronger. Before, he would have needed to get hit 12 times. And uh, I don't know if you know this. Quick is not known for survivability, for healing. Now, Yui Shosetsu kind of changes things. But in general, Quick is not known for healing. Uh, speaking of Yui, I do have to mention, uh, even though I think he works better with regular Scotty instead of running Ruler, if you don't care about if you don't want to kill uh if you care about like damage and like actual challenge quest performance you're gonna run triple uh i'm saying the whole example with ruler scotty uh because of trying to ramp up damage in farming you should be using double ruler scotty i'm not i'm not saying you should stick to caster scotty no ruler scotty right now is just better for farming i just really want ruler scott uh caster scotty to get mp gain on her battery she should have had that years ago my uh, my hot take i keep i keep saying it i'll die on the hill uh caster scotty should the, be the one that's better at farming and ruler scotty should be the one better at cqs but 
they both have half and half shit where I like to mix and match them. I know other people do not. They'd rather use double ruler. Is what it is. Use what you have to get the job done. All right. Enough about all this. Let's move on. It, everything from here is a lot more smooth sailing. 20% uh, attack to the party. Power mod against demonic enemies and defense against divinity. Along with a 30% battery. Third skill, 30% card buff, 30% crit damage in general, and then 50% crit damage against evil alignment. He has the trifecta of having MP gain, even if it's lower. It's at five turns instead of three turns. I will take these dubs. Uh, attack buff, battery. It, it's really the battery and card buff. Trifecta of uh, quick looping. You need the MP gain, you need a battery. However, as long as it's at least 30, and you need a card buff. This is dot JPEG quick units at this point. But Charlie has a whole bunch of niches. He has demonic, which if you're a demonic servant, mm, kind of likely that you're also evil. I'm not trying to be racist, but demonic is usually affiliated with evil. Uh, divinity is kind of the inverse. Uh, Divine doesn't necessarily mean evil, but it's not excluding it. Uh, case in point, comma. Who I think actually might be demonic too. Wait. No. Okay. Not a comma. But you guys get the general idea. Like actual demonic servants. Like blood vampires. Like actual demonic beasts. You guys should know by now. Moving on to passives, 20% debuff resistance. Nice, always nice. Like, it's always good to have this as high as possible. Higher debuff resistance, the less likely you're dying to bullshit. And his best passive is 10% quick up. So this is not a 30% mana burst or quick up. It is a 40. Uh, is nice that he has this on the passive. I would rather have like good card buffs in the passives than have them on the skills just because Skills don't last forever. Passives do. He will always have a quick buff, no matter how small it is. It is better is better than nothing. I'm not trying to quote Genshin, but in this case, it literally is better than nothing. He has anti berserker a pen. So did I shoot myself in the foot by unlocking Charlie's extra attack instead of his third skill? Uh, for farming, yes. For CQs, no. In CQs, you definitely want to be trying to do Mighty Chains if possible, and that's why I chose it. But when I get the server coins, he's definitely getting this server leveled up too. MP. 12 hit AoE quick. In general, for quick servants, as long as their MP is above like 6 hits, they are able to do loop farming anything below that they need like cracked skills to get the job done because they're gonna start running short like at five that's when units are start running short uh case in point uh achilles summer Ilya. um who else who else is like this uh andromeda yeah, Andromeda, if you're not fighting casters, like all casters, she's going to stop, stop a little short a lot of the times uh, due to overkill reasons. Uh, but yeah, 12 hits is ridiculous. It, like, especially the scaling for this, each hit is going to hit harder and it's not wonky scaling where like the 21 is like in the middle or something. Every hit is just slowly going to get stronger. Ideally, you want to kill by this fourth hit ideally like 10 percent of the mp damage if possible i know that's like asking a lot especially at lower copies but again the more hits of the earlier you hit overkill the more extra refund you get if you're able to hit overkill in the first hit no matter what kind of whether your arts are quick it is literally the best case scenario Anything after one hit and you lose out, you technically lose a refund. Super effective. 
Charlemagne has a attack buff, a power mod, hard buff. Only thing he's like really missing is MP damage. Uh, and I literally said at starting at zero, not black rail, starting at zero with an attack CE, just raw attack. Uh, he's looping 80%. So imagine how much he actually loops with Black Rail and it might get overkill here. He might be looping in the 90s. And then you throw it over on and then it just gets fucking stupid performing. Uh, and then here, super effective mod. Again, he stacks up, he can build it through crits and he builds it through taking hits. Uh, it caps out at 12, which is still impressive. Like, don't, don't get me wrong. Like, this is a 120% power mod when usually this is like 150 for traits. Like, anti-earth, the base is usually 150. So, if you get these stacks, you're, you're good. There's a reason why these last for five turns. It literally solves the issue with quick, where once the five turns is, or three turns is up, they kind of fall off. I kind of do agree with plushy that like buster it's way worse but buster with resetting the cooldowns it's not the exact same thing like buster like as long as you're not using oberon it does have it does have like one turn of like a lot of power but you technically have like five turns of like buffs with uh buster wait i mean that, uh, that might be that honestly might be why uh but in my use cases the reason this five turns works is more esports like you're plugging in different supports they're not all you're not only getting buffed on turn one units die they come in they buff charlemagne they die more units come in that's where i see this like five uh five turn like, being beneficial like when you have tertiary and secondary supports coming in to drop buffs in before they die too it is the worst part about his MP is that this happens after damage, but in a CQ, in a boss fight, this part doesn't matter. Uh, if you're, again, if you're running double uh, OG Scotty, 20% uh, quick, quick res down is going to literally shred whoever the fuck you're fighting. Uh, like they are taking hundreds of thousands of damage from the quick crits. Like, especially if you're stacking event mod, like, Doing the 90 plus plus last uh, event with Andromeda, like I remember the last hit of her quick card hitting like 88,000, which again, level 100, uh, but that wasn't double Scotty. That wasn't double caster Scotty. That was either one caster and one ruler or double ruler. I'm pretty sure it was one caster and one ruler. So yeah, like quick res down, don't doubt it. It sucks it's not happening before damage, but I I, I don't want to keep quoting Genshin. I don't want this to sound cope, but it is better than nothing. Bon C E power mod against demonic, power mod against evil alignment. This is funny because he doesn't actually have power mod against evil in his kit. It's from the Bonsi, so maybe if they buff skill two, but like that is no, I, I don't see them buffing this. That, that's probably not happening. Uh, costumes not up yet, but I mean you can see that in the event itself. Do I think Charlemagne is worth summoning for? Absolutely. Do I think he's must summon? Ah. Uh, <laughs> he's really, really good. Like, if you have Charlemagne, like you. It's like Takaru just came out and Takaru is arts. So arts has more supports. Like this isn't a, this situation is not a which servant is better. It's which meta is better. Arts or quick. For any hard content, the answer is art. Arts is just like the easiest because it has the most supports. Quick, very, very lethal. 
and especially Charlemagne, like he breaks the, the standards. But again, there's only so many supports he actually can use effectively. It's uh, it's the Scotties, Charlemagne, Oberon, Wu Zetian, Nero Bride, and like just uh, as long as they're not providing art buffs. I mean, they work, but. Quick, quick is just in that state. I've been saying Scotty needs a buff. I've been saying like there needs to be another support, preferably like a three star one, like a uh, Shufu equivalent for quick. Now Shufu works with Charlemagne, but just not well. Uh, like, yeah, he has double arts, but doesn't need it. The arts crits are just for this now, I guess. So yeah, uh, hopefully you, yeah, hopefully. If you summon for sugar on the main, you have good luck. Um, it, I really, really like the servant, but I can't. Ah, uh, please, 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 box Scotty or make a new quick sport, please. And I, I don't like not saying telling people to summon for quick units. I fucking love quick units, but. If your account it doesn't have Scotty, you're kind of shit out of luck with every single quick unit. Charlemagne might be uh, an exception, but that's only for farming, not CQs. Like, yes, you can use the art supports like uh, Castoria should be tertiary. They should not be your main supports with the event for a CQ with Charlemagne. All right. Hope you guys enjoyed my rambling. I will see you guys in the next one. Peace. Thank you for making it to the end of this video. If you enjoyed, drop a like or sub. Hope to see you in the next one. Peace.